So, you want to know about certifications in cybersecurity? Well, you're in the right place because that is exactly what I'll be going through in today's video. We'll be talking about certifications from CompTIA, who are the Computing Technology Industry Association. CompTIA is one of the world's leading IT trade associations with worldwide recognition. Since its foundation in 1993, CompTIA has become a leader in vendor neutral certifications and has issued over 2 million of them. So CompTIA Security Plus, which we'll be talking about in today's video, is a credential that is part of CompTIA's core certification portfolio, which also includes other certifications such as CompTIA A Plus and CompTIA Network Plus. However, Security Plus is most notable for being one of the more popular certifications that they provide. The A Plus and the Network Plus certifications can be seen as a foundation for the Security Plus certification, which then goes on to improve technical and networking knowledge. Now, this video, as I said before, will be focusing on Security Plus. However, I do have other videos that I'll be making on A Plus and Network Plus. So if you're interested in them, they'll be linked down in the description below. And after watching them, if you're still confused on which one you take, I also have videos comparing the Network Plus and Security Plus, and also other certifications from other vendors such as GIAC and ISC Squared. So that is all in my channel and it will be linked in the description below. Right, let's get on with the video and talk about Security Plus. So the Security Plus certification focuses more on cybersecurity. However, you can think of the Security Plus certification as a more focused version of the Network Plus certification. Further to this, the Security Plus qualification is widely considered to be one of the best introductions to cybersecurity and the industry in general. And as mentioned before, it is a vendor neutral qualification. And what that means is that it doesn't focus on a specific, say, software, it's more generic in its approach. Looking at the exam itself, it does not have any prerequisites required for the certification, meaning you don't have to have sat anything or done any exams prior. There are also no age or educational requirements, but CompTIA does recommend that the candidate has at least some IT administration experience beforehand. However, it's not required, as I've just said. The exam can then be taken online or in person at a designated test centre and there is a maximum of 90 multiple choice questions or performance based questions with a maximum time limit of 90 minutes. The exam is then refreshed every three years to make sure it's kept up to date with the latest knowledge and learning material because it will want to ensure that the needs of the industry are being met and the IT professionals have the skills necessary for today's jobs in cybersecurity. The current exam launched on November 12th, 2020, and will therefore be valid for around three years, meaning it should be due to change soon at the time of myself recording this video. Right, so now you know the main things about the exam, let's look at what's actually involved in terms of topics in the certification. So, the first topic to be covered will be attacks, threats and vulnerabilities and what that means is you should be able to identify and analyse any indicators of compromise. Then we have identity and access management also known as IAM which means you'll be able to implement these IAM controls and account management controls. Then you'll cover the topic of cryptography which will ensure that you are able to identify and implement basic concepts of cryptography which will then be followed by risk management, which means you'll be able to identify the importance of policies, plans and procedures in security. Then we have technologies and tools, which means you'll be able to troubleshoot common security issues with software tools. And then finally, we have architecture and design, which means you'll be able to summarize the concepts behind secure application development and deployment, as well as concepts behind securing clouds and virtualization. So you can see there is a complete mixture of the topics which are covered, which is what makes Security Plus quite a popular certification for people looking to apply for jobs and for employers wanting to hire people in cybersecurity.
And be aware, don't get put off if you're seeing any of these or you've heard my descriptions and think you have no idea of what I'm talking about. That's what this is there for. You're here to learn. It is a foundation cybersecurity certification. So if you have no prior knowledge of any of these subjects, don't worry, you will learn as you go along. So once you do this, it is important to always know what type of jobs you can get if you sit this certification. So let's have a look at some here. One that can be considered is a security engineer or an analyst, a DevOps engineer or a software developer, a network analyst or a cloud engineer. These are obviously just some examples. There are a lot more. However, if you are considering getting roles like these in the future, then this is definitely a certification you should look to sit. So now that you have all that information, what should you do with it? Well, the Security Plus certification can definitely help you land an entry level IT security position. However, even though I've been saying that this certification is entry level for cybersecurity, the average person wouldn't really consider it very easy. Therefore, it definitely requires some hard work, especially if you've not been involved in the IT field beforehand, because you then may want to look to get some of those fundamentals from the other certifications that I mentioned, A Plus and Network Plus because you can see that this covers cybersecurity concepts in depth and therefore requires adequate preparation. So if you're looking to follow a cybersecurity related career path and want to add security credentials to your CV and need to understand network security as part of your profession, then the Security Plus certification is definitely worth the effort. And it's worth noting that some people grasp cybersecurity concepts fairly quickly and some others will find it more of a challenge. However, it's good to be up for a challenge and challenge your own knowledge and always keep yourself learning, especially in cybersecurity. So it's definitely one you should consider if you want to advance your IT career, as it will look great on your CV, it will improve your career opportunities, and most importantly, up your credibility, especially when you're sitting interviews or talking about things cybersecurity related. I hope that's all been useful for you. If it has, do check out my Instagram as well as I've got more content on there. And I also have a website which you can view down in the description below and ask me for any help that you need. It'll be really great if you guys can leave a like as it makes me aware that you're enjoying this content and then it also helps the channel out.